Ticks are a problem globally in temperate zones of the Earth. South Africa is no exception, with about a dozen species of ticks. Ticks are a parasitic organism that feeds on blood. They can cause anemia and disease depending on how many and what species of tick is on you. In South Africa, the Bont tick can carry a nasty bacterium that can cause African spotted fever. It's not normally deadly, but makes you very, very sick. That includes people, domesticated animals, pets, and even wildlife. I have read where wild animals have or developed immunity to such tick-borne illnesses. But that doesn't mean you take chances with the wild animals in your care. Some wild animals may have immunity to the tick-borne diseases, but not the anemia caused by having too many. So, in captive cheetah care, I go out of my way to make sure my animals are protected. Having an animal in a good mood helps in a basic physical exam. If the animal doesn't trust and like you, sedation is the only other way, especially for a wild animal. That's why I always say it's pleasure before business with my animals. It gets them in the right mood for anesthesia-free medical checkups. The rain didn't bother you, huh? The rain didn't bother you. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to take care for you, buddy. Let me get this other tick here. So I'm going to look at, he's supposed to get his medicine for these ticks. I got to get his medicine. There's too many. So we'll take care of that, Gabriel. What do you smell, buddy? I pick ticks off you while you grin me. It's hard to get the small ones though, because he's, uh, I don't want to hurt him. They got it all on his neck here. So I will definitely get his uh, treatment. A tick control medication called Comfortus is used to control the ticks. It's the same medication veterinarians prescribe for dogs and cats. It comes in a pill or tablet form and simply ingested. It kills all ticks on these cheetahs for one month. But this is a cheetah breeding program, and you have to be careful about the timing of the medication. Taking any medication can have adverse effects on breeding. So there are times when these cheetahs are protected against ticks. It's a double-edged sword. Keep them off their meds for breeding and they get ticks, or keep them on the meds for their protection but risk side effects. I won't risk a bunch of ticks on Gabriel, so I choose the medications. When the meds lose their potency, the ticks return, and that's when I remove them with my fingers. The fact that I can is one more reason I'm a big fan of interactive care. He's got some ticks on mine. I'm work on his ticks today. You can see those right there. Um, I can pick one off. I am freaking out. There, there's one. Same. Freaking ticks. That's my goal today. Got these ticks off him. I know how these ticks on, so I'm gonna. I have to kill. I don't like killing, but I have to kill those. They cannot breed. Uh, risk my health. Uh, my buddy Gabriel. All right, buddy. Oh, that hurts, Gabriel. Yeah, that hurts, buddy. There's a tick there. It's too thick. Let me see if I can get that one. Oh, it's embedded in there. I can't get it. So uh, I'll look at that later. There's one there, I can probably get off. It's only, about, it's only been four days, this is my fourth day. Fourth, uh, no, fifth day, fifth day with Gabriel here. Right, which one knows, buddy? Right, which one knows? So, we're still relearning our tolerance levels to things. Uh, so, oh, like his facial grooming. And you're nibbling. I'm picking ticks while he's doing this. It's a good distraction, because it could hurt. Got one. Smashed it. Hey, my buddy. How's my good buddy doing? How's my good buddy doing? Well, today is uh, Gabriel's fast day, so he doesn't get any food. He gets to grow me. Hey, but how you doing, huh? You see your ticks? Your ticks are gone. I gave him my medicine yesterday for his ticks. I hope these things die on. I don't like the topical tick meds. I find them ineffective. Have a sit with, have a sit with, You're with limited to where you can put it. Yeah. 
is supposed to get absorbed into the skin. So I'm hoping this medicine, I gave it to him 24 hours ago, so hopefully it's gonna work for him. But much of it gets stuck in the hair, rubbed off, or licked off. And it's a poison. It's designed to enter the bloodstream. When the ticks drink the poison blood, they die. The double-edged sword, ticks or no ticks. Removing ticks from the environment is just as hard and hazardous. Is that a tick? Eden, that's a tick in it. Let me get that. I gotta reach it. I'm calling a black part right now. You'll see it there on the white there. I'm gonna go kill that. Let me get that tick, Eden. Let me go. There it is. I got it. I got it. So I got this tick, but it can't live. I don't like killing, but this is a hazard. Parasites are a hazard. Uh, one less of cause problems. Alright, Eden. This is a simple tick extracting tool I bought at the pet store. So you go in from underneath it, from its back legs forward to its head, like a spoon. So, point you this way. Still, without a trusting, calm animal, you can't do this. Got it. I basically scooped it like a spoon. There it is. Crawling around, you see it? It's less pain for uh, Eden, so that's less injury for me. But unfortunately, man, has, this thing has to die. I can't, it's, it's too big a risk. I don't know what, make sure I wash my hands when I get back. I cannot live, I'm sorry. I hate killing. I don't believe in killing. I think all life's important, but I don't like parasites either. So, I'll show you the tick here. So what you do, you see the tick there. Uh, what you do is I'm just going to demonstrate. You go, you spoon it like you're going to eat it with a spoon, <laughs> up underneath it, under, underneath its uh, belly, to the head, and then it, it's when you pull upward and, and snap it out, and it goes out. She's already just, she's already slapping her tail like she's not liking it. So, I'm going to try to do this with one hand here. So, I got it. You see that? It's in the uh, groove of that tone. Got it. Oh, it fell down. I got I to gotta kill it. That's one, uh, one uh, pet parasite animal I wouldn't do kill, or ticks. But I got it off of her. It's okay, Sweeney. I got it. See that bother? So normally I would use both hands, not a camera, so I could distract her so it's, she doesn't feel the uh, discomfort of that. But you're going away. And I'll get the other one another time. And she's uh, calm. So, give her this guy. I can't let, I can't let this tick live. It's, uh, it would spread. It's, it's a female trying to create a brood of uh, more ticks, you know. More, uh, and these ticks can be bad. There's bad ticks here in uh, South Africa. This is not one. Uh, the ones that are bad are they have the black bands on them. This is a very, this is a very common one here, but it's not good. So, all right, Eden, I'll leave you alone. So we let you rest. So I have to give her this tick here. So there we go. Tick extraction from a cheetah. Another selfie hug with Faith. It's always enjoyable. <laughs> How you doing, Faith? Is that a tick on your chest? Let me see. It feels like a tick on your chest down here. Let me see. I'm sure that's a tick. Yep. See that? Let's give her to it. Let's squish it. Yeah, Faith. So it's real nice to see Faith in the morning. This is she uh, likes visits and yeah, company, day and night. Real nice cheetah, Faith. Like she leans on you, look at her. Leans on you. I wish with the leg. I gotta bite me too. Yeah, don't bite me, face. Don't bite me, face. Really sweet, you. Look at 
got her neck here. Nice lover. Parasites are part of our natural world. I'm glad there are ways to control ticks on the individual and in the environment. In the future, I'm going to look for natural ways of controlling these parasites. In a captive environment like this, controlled field burns are an effective way of controlling ticks. Spring burns will kill tick eggs. But controlled burns have their own risks. I've even seen where herds of ducks are used to clean up fields of ticks. I prefer not to use poisons to control ticks. It's better for the environment and it's better for these captive animals. And that will give peace of mind to me and Gabriel. If you like this video, please share it and give the thumbs up. And consider joining my channel. Join my coalition and subscribe.